A delicate process in Virginia now, opening the second of two time capsules found under a Confederate statue in Richmond, Virginia. As Michael George tells us, some contents in the box match the newspaper accounts from that time. I put a lot of tape on here because I was nervous. Archivists in Virginia carefully opened the second of two time capsules located beneath the recently removed statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. The copper box and its contents weighed 36 pounds and required a handsaw to open. The team quickly lifted out metal items like coins to prevent tarnishing. So we're just getting these back into silica gel as quickly as possible. The capsule included a shell fragment from a battle, Confederate money, and perhaps one of the biggest treasures, a centerfold from Harper's Weekly, dated April 29th, 1865. It looks like a figure grieving over the grave of Lincoln. Condensation in the box caused the contents to expand and stick together. The problem with using a lot of force is that I could rip everything to shreds. Experts cut down one side of the box to free the remaining mementos. Very wet holy Bible. Richmond Directory. It's a Masonic symbol and a flag carved out of wood. Those were made from a tree that grew over Stonewall Jackson's grave. And the team had a recommendation for future generations. Next time capsule, maybe not so much stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be working to dry out and preserve the 19th century items. Michael George, CBS News. Historical experts remarked that the condition of the contents, while wet, were actually better than expected.